Assalamualaikum viewers. Welcome to my channel NDS Guru. This is the lecture two of series of past paper MCQs from quantitative portion. Today I will discuss the all the questions related to average. These questions repeats in different competitive exams in different ways. Question number one is the average of even integers from two to hundred is. You have to find average. Must remember average is always equal to sum of numbers divided by number of terms. So first you have to find sum of numbers. As there are from two to hundred, there are fifty terms. Use formula n into n plus one. N is fifty. Fifty plus one. Is fifty one, and when fifty one is multiplied with fifty, this will be two double five zero. So sum of all the numbers which ranges from two to hundred and which are even, their sum is equal to two double five zero. And the number of terms are fifty. So whenever two double five zero is divided by fifty, results in fifty. One so correct option is option C one. Next question is what is the average of first hundred natural number? Whenever such type of series of natural number, sum is sum is always calculated by using this formula where n is hundred, hundred plus one divided by two, hundred plus one is one o one and one o one is multiplied by hundred and divided by two. This result in five zero five zero. So average of number which are natural is calculated by using this formula. So option B is correct one. Sorry, this is the sum of numbers. This is sum of numbers. So sum of numbers is five zero five zero, but average is calculated by sum of numbers divided by number of terms, and there are hundred terms. So when five zero five zero divided by hundred, this results in as there are two zeros, so place point two digit from right. So five zero fifty point five is the correct option. Next question is what is the average of x, y, and z if x plus y equal to five and y plus z equal to eight and x plus z equal to eleven? As these are three three equations, first add all of these and then divide it by three. Then this will that will be average. X plus y, y plus z, x plus z. So there are two x, two y, and two z's. This will be equal to two x plus two y plus two z. As two is common, so two divided by twenty four will be x plus y plus z will be twelve. So in order to calculate average, this term, this term, this whole equation will be divided by. Three, so x plus y plus z equal to twelve divided by three. So four option D is the correct option. The average of the all these three equation is four. Question number four is the average of five numbers is fifty four. If three of the numbers are twenty six, twenty eight, and thirty, what is the average of the other two? Here, here five number average is fifty four, but three of the numbers are known. And you have to find the average of the numbers which are unknown. So first of all, you you find the numbers which are unknown, then divide their numbers with two as there are two numbers, so that will be average. So let's suppose these numbers are A and B which are unknown, as there are five numbers, so divide by five and their average is given as fifty four. So A plus B will be equal to. Fifty-four when multiply by five is two seventy, and twenty-six, twenty-eight, and thirty sum is eighty-four. So a plus b will be two seventy minus eighty-four, which is equal to one eighty-six. So to find the average of this, these are two numbers. To to find average of these two numbers, this will be equal to ninety-three. So correct correct option is option B. Next question is which of the following is the average of x square minus sixteen thirty nine minus x square and thirty six plus thirty three x plus ten? So first of all, 
add these number as these are three equations so this will be divided by three so here x cancelled with x and here is 3x 3x by 3 and when 39 plus 10 is 49 and 49 minus 16 is 33 so cancelled x plus 11 is the correct option average of all these three, three terms Next question is 8 students in a class obtain 60%, 3 students 75%, 2 students 80% and 7 students obtain 45%. What is the average? First of all, you have to calculate sum of all these. It means 8 multiplied by 60 plus 3 multiplied by 75 plus 2 multiplied by 80 plus 7 multiplied by 45. And all these are divided by as here 8 plus 3 plus 2 plus 7 is 20. So whenever these multiply and add it, it results in 1180 divided by 20. So these are, so the average of all these students is 59%. Question number 7 is the average of number of goals a team has scored in 7 matches. So total number of matches are 7 in which average is 8. Okay. So every day, uh, they uh, average 10 goals for the first 3 matches and they scored 5 goals in each of the next 2 matches. What is the average score of the last 2 matches? So average goal for the first seven matches average is eight. So seven matches. So results in fifty six. The average ten goals for the first three matches. For the first three matches, average goal is ten. So they go thirty. For the next two matches, the average is five. So out of 56, their goals are 40. For the remaining last two will be 56 minus this, 40. For last two, 56 minus 40 will be 16. So you have to find the average of these last two matches. Just divide this with 2. And the eight, average 8 goals will be gained by the last two matches next question is if the mean average of six numbers is 4.5 what is the sum of number average is always given by sum divided by number of terms here you have to find sum sum equal to average into number of terms And average is given as 4.5 and there are 6 numbers. So 4.5 multiplied by 6 is equal to 27. So the sum of numbers is 27. Next question number 9 is a worker is paid R rupees per hour. For the first 8 hours daily, for every hour after the 8 hours, she is paid S rupees per hour if she works for 12 hours. For 12 hours, total she is working for 12 hours. For the first 8 hours, she is, she paid R rupees. How many remaining out of 12? 4. It means after 8 hours, she paid with S rupees per hour. So total 8 plus 4 is? Total hours are 12 hours. How to calculate average? Average is 8R plus 4S and total number of hours are 12. Just taking 4 common. 
the average is 2r plus s by 3 so option d is the correct one question number 10 is asam had an average of 60 on his first four tests in first four test average is 60 after taking the next test his average dropped to 58 but this is let's suppose next test is x because no value is given average is dropped to 58 so total number of 4 plus 1 is total number of tests are 5 so 4 multiplied by 60 is 240 plus x 5 multiplied by 58 is 290 So, his recent test grade is 50. Next question is, if A plus B equal to 8, B plus C is 9, C plus A is 11, what is the average of A, B and C? So, first of all, you have to find the value of A, B and C and then divide it by 3. That will be the average of A, B and C. In order to find this, first of all, I am going to add all these 3 equations so here will be 2a plus 2b plus 2c which is equal to 8 plus 11 plus 9 is 28 so th here are three terms by taking two common from this So, as three, th these three common, so th they are two common divided with 28 results in four 14. So, A plus B plus C plus A, B plus C and C plus A here results in 14. So, just put here is A plus B plus C equal to 14. Just put one by one value of A plus B and find C. Whenever I, I will put A plus B as 8, here results in C as 6. Whenever I will put B plus C in this equation, result 14 minus 9 is 5. Whenever I will put C plus A in this equation, 11, 14 minus 11 will be 3. So, c is 6 a is 5 and b is 3 just add all of these 6 plus 5 is 11 11 plus 3 is 14 so 14 by 3 as there are three terms so 14 by 3 is the average of a b and c so option a is correct one next question question number 12 is if the average of 3 5 10 and s is 6 what is the average of s Average of 3, 5 and 10 plus S as there are 4 terms is given as 6. What is the value of S? 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 3 is 18. Whenever 18 will be moved in other side, 6 plus 4 is 24. Sorry, 6 into 4, 24. Whenever 18 is subtracted from 24, this results in 6. So, value of S is 6. So, option B is correct one next question is what is the average of 3 10 3 raised to power 10 3 raised to power 20 and 3 raised to power, 3 raised to power 10 so finding average 3 raised to power 10 plus 3 raised to power 20 plus 3 raised to power 30 whole divided by 3 you have to find the average of this as whenever term is shifted from denominator to numerator power is change power sign is change so here power will be negative whenever it will be moved from denominator to numerator so three, 10 here power is 10 here is minus 1 10 minus 1 is 3 raised to power 9 plus 20 minus 1 is 3 raised to power 19 and 30 minus 1 is 3 raised to power 29 so average of this is part b Next question is, 
if 20x plus 20y equal to 17 what is the average of x in y first of all you have to find 20x plus 20y equal to 70 this implies that taking common as 20 x plus y equal to 70 or in other words when 20 is divided by here this is x plus y is 7 by 2 it's mean taking average of these just divide whole by 2 so 7 by 4 is the average of 20x plus 20y here will be average of x and y so 7 by 4 is the correct option